Arikara is a Catan language spoken by the Arikara Native Americans who reside primarily at Fort Bergold Reservation in North Dakota. Arikara is close to the Pawnee language, but they are not mutually intelligible. The Arikara were apparently a group met by Lewis and Clark in 1804, their population of 30,000 was reduced to 6,000 by smallpox. For several hundred years, the Arikara lived as a semi-nomadic people on the Great Plains in present-day United States of America. They are believed to have separated as a people from the Pawnee in about the 15th century. The Erzberger site near present-day Pierre, South Dakota, designated as a National Historic Landmark, is an archaeological site from this period, containing the remains of a fortified village with more than 44 lodges. Arikara man, wearing a bearskin, 1908 during the sedentary seasons, the Arikara lived primarily in villages of earth lodges. While traveling or during the seasonal bison hunts, they erected portable tipis as temporary shelter. They were primarily an agricultural society, whose women cultivated varieties of corn. The crop was such an important staple of their society that it was referred to as mother corn. Traditionally an Arikara family owned 30 to 40 dogs. The people used them for hunting and as sentries, but most importantly for transportation in the centuries before the Plains tribes adopted the use of horses in the 1600s. Many of the Plains tribes had used the travoy, a lightweight transportation device pulled by dogs. It consisted of two long poles attached by a harness at the dog's shoulders, with the butt ends dragging behind the animal, midway. A ladder-like frame, or a hoop made of plated thongs, was stretched between the poles, it held loads that might exceed 60 pounds. Women also used dogs to pull travoy to haul firewood or infants. The travoy were used to carry meat harvested during the seasonal hunts, a single dog could pull a quarter of a bison. In the late 18th century, the tribe suffered a high rate of fatalities from smallpox epidemics, which so reduced their population as to disrupt their social structure. Due to their reduced numbers, the Arikara started to live closer to the Mondan and Hanadatsa tribes in the same area for mutual protection. They migrated gradually from present-day Nebraska and South Dakota into North Dakota in response to pressure from other tribes, especially the Sioux and European-American settlers. During the Black Hills War, in 1876 some Arikara served as scouts for Lt. Col. George Armstrong Custer in the Little Bighorn Campaign. The three tribes are settled on the Fort Bairdvold Reservation in North Dakota. Arikara has the following consonant phonemes, Arikara distinguishes between the Africate, T, and the consonant cluster slash T plus slash, voiced consonants in Arikara have voiceless allophones. Whenever a sonorant precedes a devoiced vowel, that sonorant devoices as well. Arikara also has the following vowel phonemes, Arikara is now spoken in North Dakota by a very few elders. One of the last fluent speakers, Maud Starr, died on January 20, 2010. She was a certified language teacher who participated in Arikara language education programs. Language revitalization efforts are continuing. As of 2014, speakers are centered on White Shield, North Dakota. The language is taught at Fort Bairdvold Community College, White Shield School, and at the Arikara Cultural Center. Arikara is extensively documented, with several volumes of interlinear texts of Arikara stories, a learner's introductory text, and linguistic studies. As of 2014, iPhone and iPad Arikara language apps are available. The language is used in the 2015 film The Revenant starring Leonardo DiCaprio as Hugh Glass, a mountain man who interacted with Arikara people and learned the language in the 19th century. Thanks for watching.